The code for the bipedal robot requires the coordination of four different servos for walking and an additional servo if you want the head to move. This particular code is only going to look at the walking aspect. First make sure that you have included the servo library. Next, give each of your servos a specific name that will help you to identify them. I named them based on their position in the robot. For example, whether it was controlling the right thigh, the right foot, the left thigh, or the left foot. Make sure you attach each servo onto a separate digital pin. And in my void setup, what I have done is figured out the calibration for what position is when the robot is standing still. Ideally, when you first put the robot together, you will have each servo at a 90 degree position when it's in the resting stage. However, this doesn't always work out perfectly. So when I was testing my robot, I found out each position such as 110 degrees was the right thigh in the straight position and then 130 degrees was the right foot in the flat position. I also checked each servo separately and up here I wrote down uh, which degrees was when that servo was turning out or in for the thigh and turning up or down for the foot. This is helpful because you need to coordinate all four servos together to get the robot to be able to walk. The way it walks is it has to tip the body over one foot that's going to be holding the majority of the weight while the other foot slides forward. It doesn't actually lift the second foot because it's very difficult to get a robot to walk bipedally that way and balance all of its weight on one leg. Instead, it just kind of slides it along the edge of the second foot. So to do the coordinated action, what I have here is that while the left foot is down, the right foot has to be up, and while the right thigh is turned inwards, the left thigh is turned outwards, and so forth. So I have the coordinated movements up here that I wrote down first, and then I figured out what degrees of motion each servo had to make to follow this coordinated path. This may depend on your particular servos and exactly how you set up your robot, so the numbers may not work for you, but you definitely need to get the correct motions of the thighs and the feet working in the correct pattern. So you can go ahead and try it out, and if everything is in the correct position, it will walk forward. If things are slightly off, you may have your robot tip, in which case just adjust the degrees. Uh, don't forget that for the servo, it can only go between 0 and 180 degrees, so don't try to write the servo to anything beyond those uh, restrictions. If you wish, it is very easy to add the fifth servo. I would call that servo H representing the head. And the head simply needs to turn left and right, allowing the ultrasonic sensor to make measurements of distance. So you would also add code for the ultrasonic sensor. This would allow your robot to sense where objects are in front of it, and it could avoid obstacles.